February 19th, army camp near vos couleurs. This morning I awoke to visions of fire and steel. These nightmares come more often, now that I've seen my beloved France eaten away by years of war. I wandered through camp, ignoring the new snowfall, but observing the wounds and weariness of every soldier under my command. Observing the desperation in their eyes. It was then that I first saw the girl. She told us that her name was Jo. She told us she was but a peasant who did not know how to ride or fight. She told us that she intended to rescue Fawz. The darkness lifted from the men's souls. Her voice rang with conviction, and we drank in her every word. I may have lost my faith, but Joan has not lost hers, and that is enough for me. Joan has asked our ragged band of soldiers to take her to Chinon, where the rightful ruler of France, the Dauphin, hides from his foes. The war-torn land in between is infested with enemy beholders, and we will lose many men. Death is by now an old companion, but for Joan, we will face it again. Bonjour, Joan. My colleague and I will escort you to the Chateau of the Dauphin, or else we will die trying. I am Jean de Metz, and I will protect you with my life. You are Joan of Arc! I have heard your claims and believe what you say. We will follow you to Chino. Wait! We might have need of a few archers on the road ahead. We must be wary of the road ahead. Our enemies, the English, are out in force, and their Burgundian allies are thick as rats. This question is a better part of valor. Look out! A battle rages ahead! Stay back, lest we be caught in the crossfire! Another glorious loss for France. I hope you really can turn the tide of this war, Joan of Arc. Out. The English must have destroyed it. We must find another way to Shino. Highwaymen playing on helpless travelers? What has become of our homeland? A Burgundian encampment! We'll never get through that wall without siege oh, yeah. equipment. Oh, yeah. A 
Gather your belongings, men. We follow Joan of Arc. We will carry that ram along with us. It may yet be of use. Are you mad? Across that bridge lies a Burgundian castle and many men. Turn back at once. An ambuscade! There are Burgundian soldiers everywhere! Hurry west to the river where we can make our escape!
marching on. We have made it. Joan's footsteps echoed down the marble hall of the chateau. The fat and whispering dukes did not but stare. The Dauphin himself seemed afraid as she kissed his feet. My gentle Dauphin, she demanded. Why does England claim what is ours? Why are you not crowned King of France as is your right? The courtiers began to murmur. The Chamberlain whispered lies into the Dauphin's ear. But the Dauphin pushed the Chamberlain away and rose to meet Joan's gaze. She stands only to the shoulder of the shortest man, but all of us must look up to speak to her. I know not what silent conversation passed between the Dauphin and his would-be savior. But it was obvious that His Majesty was in the same throne as we. 